Hi, I'm Gary, and uh, the primary objective of this experiment was to investigate the activity of gelatin BTCP as a biopore scaffold with a coating of bone matrix cells and to repair cell viability with the existing bone tissue culture methods. The hypothesis of this experiment is as follows. Gelatin BTCP scaffolds exhibit a greater compressive stiffness and increases cell viability than normal gelatin scaffolds. We had four labs uh, and had an objective for each. The first objective was to create a gelatin and gelatin BTCP scaffolds utilizing a free drive fabrication technique. The second objective was to perform mechanical testing and tribulation studies and compare the results of both scaffolds. The third objective was to perform morphology and porosity study on the GTA cross linked gelatin and gelatin BTC scaffolds. And the final objective was post DNA assay cell viability testing of succeeded MC3T3 free osteoblast cells after seven days in post. The bottom left of the poster shows a step by step process of the scaffold preparation using pre made gelatin DVS solution with a BTCP compound. The solution was freeze dried and that's it in 26 hours. Sublimation of the ice crystals creates a poor scaffold. Then compression and degradation tests are then performed for the pre osteoblast cell replacement. Uh, figure 2 shows the both the gelatin and gelatin TCP scaffold under different resolutions. You can see the pre osteoblast cells cultured after 7 days in the gelatin TCP scaffold. Figure 3 shows the TCP composite exhibits a significantly higher mean percentage porosity than the gelatin control. Figure 4 shows that the TCP composite exhibits significantly higher mean compressive modulus than the gelatin control. Figure 5 shows that adding BTCP to gelatin greatly increased the compressive modulus and promoted the growth of free osteoblast cells. Figure 6 shows that the BTCP scaffold exhibits a slower degradation rate than the normal gelatin scaffold. The number of cells were impaired for the factors of 1 to 10 and 1 to 20 dilutions. There was significantly more cells in the gelatin scaffold in both cases. This can be seen in figure 8. In all results mentioned, a T test was performed and it was calculated that P values were less than 5% in all studies. Therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis. Finally, to conclude, I believe this study was successful in demonstrating that the addition of PTCP to a gelatin scaffold would greatly increase the compressive modulus and promote the growth of pre osteoblast cells. This study validates the potential for this method of bone tissue engineering to replace existing methods. I would like to thank Dr. Manus and all of the NYG staff for helping guide and start this experiment.